explore Gombe. Welcome to Gombe State, the jewel in the savannah, the rising star from the northeast. Gombe State was created 1st of October 1996 out of the former Bauchi State, covering a total area of about 20,265 square kilometers. The state has 11 local government areas and shares common boundaries with Bauchi, Borno, Yobe, Taraba, and Adamawa states of the northeastern geopolitical zone of Nigeria. The state has relatively about 18 local languages, vegetation that is predominantly of Guinea savanna type, and average rainfall from 700 mm southwest at the extreme northern part of the state to 1,000 mm towards the south and southwestern parts of the state. The state has so much to offer from natural beauty, historical heritage to cultural diversity. The capital is fast growing and in meeting the demands of the fast growing city, charming boutiques have opened, schools, universities for quality education, hotels for your decent accommodation and classy hospitality, bakeries, joints for hangouts, good restaurants, also that offer local and continental cuisine to cater for your indigenous and international taste. No doubt, your taste boards will have a story to tell when you pay one of these eateries a visit. When it comes to marketing, the state offers best opportunity for business to strive. With its rapid growing economy, not eastern central location, about 3.5 million population of consumers. It is an important target destination for local and foreign products and services. New modern markets and malls have also opened within the state. With recent discovery of crude oil in Kashiri and coal in Bojude, mineral resources tapped and yet untapped. The state is a potential hub for investors and investors stand to benefit from friendly investment government policies, comfortable atmosphere for business, quality roads, and airport linking the state to the rest of Nigeria and the world. Explore Gombe is the window where you see the abundant talents, natural beauty, cultural diversity, and historical heritage in Gombe. Explore Gombe. To connect you to Gombe from diaspora, to connect investors to Gombe, to connect tourist visitors to Gombe. We take a look into two years of unprecedented achievement of Governor Muhammad Inwaya Hayas administration and also the message of His Excellency to the people of Gombe State as we celebrate 25 years anniversary. Explore Gombe. Explore Gombe. Explore Gumbi. Um, for the Ministry of Environment um, in Gumbi State, under my leadership as the Honorable Commissioner and with the support and overall leadership of His Excellency Muhammad Iluaha, the Gumbi State Ministry of Environment has the mandate of um, providing an appropriate sanitized and um, um, an appropriate and sanitized environment for the people of Gombe State in order to improve their well-being and also um, to protect land degradation. So when we talk about land degradation, the Ministry of Environment has two major agencies or, or projects. One is the Gombe State Environmental Protection Agency which takes care of the sanitations and also provides waste management services to the state citizens and the environment. And the second one is the new map, that's Nigerian Erosion Watershed Management Agency project in Gombe State, which is a, which is a project that has been set up to purposely um, take care of all the gully erosions in the state in order to reduce or reverse land degradation that has been happening all around. 
So Bombay State has active gullies. We have about over 200 active gullies in Bombay State. So, at, um, so for this administration, we were able to secure the support of the World Bank through NUMA, which um, uh, we're able to secure the project for the Bombay State University Malam Inna Kagarawa project, which is a project of about 2.9 billion naira, and is a project that takes care of the gullies for about 7.5 kilometers, which affects over 150 households as an estimate. So this project has been completed. And um, as I'm talking to you now, the people of the community are happy. The people of the community are no more in severe problems in regards to flooding, erosions, land degradation, which are all elements of climate change because climate change is real. So, and apart, apart from the um, soil erosion control that has happened that has happened there there's also a form of bioremediation that has taken place there when we say bioremediation we talk about the tree planting activities within the gully sites across five five meters on both left and right hand sides of the gullies so this is one of the major activities that has happened within this administration and all is all possible because of the support provided by His Excellency of about a contribution of about 500 million naira, which is a counterpart funding that has been provided to the new map straight to the World Bank in order for Gombe State to secure this project. And we also have a lot of tree planting activities, which is spearheaded by the Gombe Goals Green project. And within this, this is kind of a collaboration of the Ministry of Environment um, which is which is the mother agency for tree planting activities in Gombe State, specifically to take care of all our major forest reserves. And also we have over 300 hectares of land that has been reversed for land degradation through the creation or establishment of woodlot, woodlot plantations, roadside plantations across all the local governments in Gombe State. I want to use this medium to thank His Excellency Governor Mohammed Inouye for all the works he has been going and that has been going on in Gombe, for all the establishments, activities in this administration that has been, um, that has been going on. So we want to use this medium to call on the people of the state to support His Excellency and also to um, to also to, to also ensure in the area of environment that waste management is done to the maximum it's effectively carried out when i say effectively carried out it's not just the duty of the government to ensure that proper waste management is achieved it is the duty of all both private individuals public the ngos all individuals to ensure that waste is being properly disposed and managed because um, cleanliness starts from home. So we all have our duties as human beings to ensure that our well-being is being improved. So this is what I as a commissioner am calling on the people of the state to adhere to. Thank you very much.